is Garmin people. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we have a rod review for you. It is a sweet little comma right here from Temple Fork Outfitters. This is the GTS Bass Tactical Rod in 6 foot 9 medium. 69! <laughs> Yeah, no medium, no heavy. So we have a lot of backbone. I mean, not a lot of backbone, but there's a lot of bend to this rod, and it, yet it still has a lot of backbone for its size. So we're coming at a six foot nine. So it's a small rod, which is perfect. This is my go-to rod for like pond fishing, bank fishing, anything like that, because you really can't be like going out there with like a seven foot three, seven foot six, medium heavy rod, and be able to cast under like branches, trees, stuff that has fallen in the water, anything shoot like that. Shoot the decks, Expe shoot the dogs. Especially when you have like really short banks and stuff like that and you're trying to get out there to those, uh, those peaks and those points. So you really have something that's short that you can pitch, you can throw around, stuff like that. So it being six foot nine, it makes a huge, huge difference. Now, let's talk about price. MSRP, this goes for about $159.99, 160 just to round it up. But if you get it from Tackle Warehouse, they have the uh, Temple Fork Outfitter Tactical Bass right now for anywhere from six foot nine to seven foot six, I believe. Whoop. And you can get it right now with a little bit of a discount. It goes for $119.99, so it's really good. It's a pretty good price right now. And uh, just to check out, it is the Gold Series Cork Handle. That's what you want to look for, that Gold Series. Tactical. That is your super finesse rod. Again, it only being a medium, not a medium heavy, it is super finesse. So that means uh, crankbaits, rattle traps, anything with treble hook is really good. Some of those bass are really giving like a really good like head uh, throwing back and forth, oh. head thrash, it's thumping, it's wanting to jump. That medium action is going to give a lot of bend so that bass can do its uh, work and do whatever it needs to do without putting too much tension on that line so that hook just pops out. So that's really a really, really good thing about the medium rod. This is a good point to cut and you can just enter uh, mm. another form of just- Oh yeah, yeah, let's talk about the video. Let's talk yeah. about, yeah, okay. Yeah, so uh, we have a video that me and Austin filmed uh, not too long ago, about a month ago. We were out here fishing with a Timu pack, which Big was daddy. a freaking awesome video. If you haven't already checked that out, check it out right here. It's gonna be in a link right here Bing. up above. But I'm gonna show you that video because we caught a five pound bass. It was, it, was, it was pushing five. It was almost, yeah, it was, it was five. But we caught it on this rod, and this rod had so much bend and so much action that it allowed that bass to just run and do its thing until it got completely tired out on that rattle trap. So let's go ahead and run that video for y'all right now. Got one, Austin. Good one. Good one. Pulling drag, pulling drag. Biggin, biggin, Austin, biggin. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Biggin, biggin, come here. Hurry. Hurry, biggin, 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 Austin. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Get over there, get over there, get over there, get over there. No, 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 don't touch the line, don't touch the line, don't touch the line. It's very thin, very thin, very thin. Oh grab him, grab him, grab him. It came off. Got him? Pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. Yes! And look what I did on the way over here. <gasps> Hook in the finger. It's okay, I know a trick to get that out. Shit! <laughs> Freaking behemoth. <laughs> so no, another thing I like to mention about this rod is it is super 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 lightweight uh, I don't know the exact weight on this rod but even without the reel this thing is super light it is only has a cork handle so it has not a whole lot of weight at the, the base the grip but this rod is like little to nothing it is like maybe two three ounces at most it is very very lightweight austin what do you think about this rod i want to get a second opinion so people can know like it's not just me talking over here so what do you think austin i think i've had turds that are heavier than this exactly exactly lightweight is exactly what i was talking i love about. the grip of the cork too it's just perfect you know for my hand i don't know probably everybody else is too. yes they, and you have a bigger it. hand than i do you have yeah. a way bigger hand so from a bigger <clears> guy's <throat> standpoint for the grip is like perfect it is it's great it's perfect Perfect. The finger hook is like amazing. It's not one of those bent over, you know, it's kind of more straight, but it fits your finger pretty amazing. So 
I'd recommend it for sure. Y'all should go check that link out. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And again, it has the cork grip. So if your hands get sweaty or you get wet handling all those, you know, 10 pounders that you be catching, uh, the moisture is going to absorb right into the cork. So it's not going to make it even more slick. So you're going to have a tight, good grip every single, single time. So that is another really good reason that the Timber Arc Footer uh, bass rods are definitely worth it. That cork grip is something serious and the weight is just magnificent. Gotta have the grip when you're ripping lips. Exactly. Gotta have the grip when you're ripping those lips. So if you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to the Dark Relaxion channel, guys. We have officially been monetized, so a really, really big shout out to y'all. Y'all are freaking awesome for getting us to that point. It is unbelievable, but the goal is for 2,000 subscribers by the end of 2023, and with y'all, I know we can definitely make that happen. So guys, thank you so much. I really enjoyed the video. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace. What's up you guys? So Eric did a video a while back on that. It's basically like a booklet full of lures and explains a lot of things about Texas rigging and stuff. I'm gonna do my best little uh, Texas rig, I guess, and throw it down at the speed that uh, might be comparable or not to y'all's. I wanna see y'all's speeds in the comments down below, but I'm gonna throw it together, kind of go through the process, but also try to do it fast enough to where I can compare to some of you guys, because I know y'all can do it fast. But I don't do this every day, some of y'all do. But yeah, let's get down. Uh, we got a little worm here and hook, and we're gonna just throw a slide weight onto the top of the hook. So let's get to it. Grab it, toss your weight on first, cause it's gonna go on the top of the hook, but it's not gonna tie to the line or pinch to the line or nothing like that. You know, you get it. Find the hole. Push, push, push through the tiny hole first. And then look at that. Hey, that's my brother, Eric. I almost, I almost messed it up instantly. Look at me. Okay, so yeah, got it, got it, got it. That's probably why they don't let you push it through the bottom. Look at me. All right, so then you throw your, oh, gravity worm. You throw your hook on here. Pull some slack, twisty two. Bring your slack back round. You're not only gonna put it through one side of this loop, and that's next to the eyelet. Go ahead and put it through both. Like, you're gonna have a second loop from the from the bring around so i don't know you probably can't see this but i'll just kind of explain you go through the little new, the little loop that is basically at the end next to your eye hole then you can bring it back through the loop that that made to come back around i grab it with my teeth every time and then we're good to go and what i can do also is cut some of this a little bit slack some of you guys just do it perfect every time all right, throw down, worm time. You got your, uh, uh, simple like that, yard. Throw it in the tip, just the tip. About an inch, inch and a half maybe. Throw it round, bring it up, push it through the top. Then you're gonna bring the belly round. And you know what else? Poke it. So that your hook comes oh that's horrible that's that's not it hold on let me get it guys okay i failed ding so check that out uh you want it straight right and then you want the tip of the the tip of that bad boy right in the back guts and the back fat and the back strap that worm then you just throw it out there in the lake and you're good to go the whole time he has lines still on your beard. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs>